So another option in Canvas, if you want to help control the pace of a course, is to use what they call modules. Modules are kind of like folders uh, where you can simply create a module, call it whatever it is that you want. It could be based on unit one, unit two, week one, week two. Uh, it could be the name of a specific unit or something that you teach. And you're going to create these modules and then post content directly to a module. So I can simply add documents by dragging it into a module, or I can simply hit the plus sign and be able to add uh, assignments or add quizzes, files, pretty much anything that I want to be able to create in Canvas. I could go ahead and insert those. I can insert URLs, any of those things directly into a module. And once I have those here, I need to make sure that both the assignment itself is published and the module uh, is also published. So I need to make sure that it is published and all the items inside of it are published. And then what I can do is I can set criteria that a student will not be able to move past one module into the next until they have met that criteria. So if I have a unit one here and a unit two, and I wanna make sure that they have completed everything in unit one before it goes to unit two, what I can do is, after creating the module and adding some content in it, I can tap the three dots, and I can tell it to edit. So I have a couple different options. I can choose to either lock this just by a certain date or time, or I can say, hey, no one can open or view this until a certain date, and then everything in that module becomes visible at that date and time. Or I can set requirements that will uh, be applied or prerequisites that they will have to meet in order to move on to that next module. So in order to do that, I can add a requirement and I have a couple options. I can either choose to complete all of these. So let's say this is something where they have to do every single thing that's in this module, or maybe it's something where you're giving students choice and there's four or five things in there and they just have to complete one of those assignments. I could choose that as well. If it is something that requires more than one, I can also check this box if I want them to do it in the order that they're listed here. That may or may not matter. That's up to you. Then here is where I'm going to go ahead and choose the things that are in that uh, module. This is why you have to add those first and then control what things they have to do in order to mark that as complete. So for this specific uh, first item here, this is an assignment. And for this one, I could say they have to view it. They have to mark it as done. That's simply just a checkbox they check. Um, they have to submit something for that assignment or they have to score at least something, which means you have to grade it before they can move on um, to that next option. So in this case, I want them to have to submit that assignment. And then I'm gonna add another requirement for the next assignment. So for this particular one, this is just a PDF. They have to view this assignment. Uh, it, since it's just a PDF file, there's nothing actually submitted. And then finally, if I do this last option here, this is a page. I could tell it that maybe instead of viewing the page, I want them to either add something to this page uh, or maybe simply mark it as done uh, in order to do that. So I have three different requirements in here. I have it set that they have to move all or complete all of these requirements before it goes to the next one. So I tell it to update that module. And I, if I've made changes to previous requirements, it'll ask me, do I want to lock it for previous students? That's fine. So I'm almost done, there's one more step. Now I need to set it so that they cannot move or see module two until they've finished everything that's in module one. So if I go to my unit two or second module here and hit those same three dots and go to edit, now you'll see there's an option that says prerequisites. And here I can add a prerequisite, that means unit one, this is my first module, uh, where they have to have finished this one before it will go to the next module, which is Unit 2. And then I could go on and simply add the same kind of requirements for Unit 2 as well, just like I did the first one. I go ahead and tell it to update, and you'll even see it listed here that there is a prerequisite that a student cannot access this until they have completed everything into this first module. So if I go to Student View, You'll notice how it's grayed out. Um, a student cannot access it. Uh, they have to go through. Here is their first assignment. They have to go through and open that up and actually uh, log in and submit something. 
If I go back, the second one was simply viewing a PDF. So they have to simply open this up uh, and look at this PDF that exists here. And then if I go back again, uh, it tells me that that has been viewed. Uh, they've looked at it and it even checks the box. And then the third option here, this was marking something is done. This was a, a lesson, this was a page that the student viewed. And at the bottom of that box, after they've done it, they can simply check the box that says mark as done. And now when I click next, it tells me, hey, you can't go on to unit two yet because you still haven't submitted something for this assignment. So I'd have to still open and submit that. But once those things have been submitted, then back in my modules list, the third assignment here with the checkbox, once I've submitted the assignment and that box has been checked, then module two or unit two unlocks, and then they'll be able to access that as well.